The Caribbean Youth Science Forum, a flagship event by the National Institute of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, NIHIST, brought together approximately 200 sixth form science students from not only Trinidad and Tobago, but also from Barbados, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda. Oh Mixing science with fun. This week-long event provided the opportunity for students to reinforce and broaden their knowledge of science and technology. They were treated to a range of inspirational and informative lectures from distinguished luminaries. They were encouraged to ask questions and challenge these lectures' deliveries. Later in the week, they socialized with scientists and interacted in small groups with them, asking pertinent questions that may guide them to make career choices in advancing their study of science. The future, into the next five to ten years, will be informed by these young people. At CYSF with the field trips, the scientists, and in networking, some of the people you meet, you really do get the chance to see the side of science that you won't learn at high school. Like clockwork, the students were taken on field trips to industries and research institutions to view science in action. One night, they were taken to the National Science Center in Dabadi, where they were exposed to hands-on science exhibits, science demonstrations, telescope viewing, and more fun. At the Science Seekers event, the students were taken into the forest and exposed to survival skills, like fire building, hygiene, shelter construction while encouraging teamwork, and developing positive team spirits. Months before they arrived, the students were given a real-world problem-solving challenge to create an electrical generator from household materials that will charge a cell phone and power a light bulb. They had to document the challenge and present their design to all the other students and a panel of judges. Most of the students were not able to light the light bulbs and a few of them got to charge the phone. But one thing we know that they took away from it in the feedback and from speaking to them is they learned a lot that failure is a very valuable tool. Failure is not something to run away from or shy away from. Another challenge was given to students based on a NASA-style project. They were given cups, straws, string and a design task. They responded brilliantly, but were given stumbling blocks and had to overcome them by dancing to gain additional items they were deprived of. The edutainment never stopped, and there was an explosion of talent and culture at the Caribbean Night Concert. Some students sang, danced, played instruments, presented skits, had the audience participating and supporting their actions. Right now my heart is pounding harder in my chest, but I'm gonna give it my best. Yes? Yeah. Now live it, love it, live life, and I'm out. See y'all. Good night. The fun and competitive spirits again were evident as the forum ended with a crescendo at the Olympics. Extreme fun was the buzzword during the Olympics as the teams competed in novel and some grueling events. On the way, we've met some great people who I'm sure I'll communicate with throughout the rest of my life. I met a lot of friends and I can cherish these moments forever. Yeah, this year's CYSF is unforgettable. CYSF is a phenomenal experience. CYSF 2015 really introduced me to new aspects of science that I really couldn't experience in my country, Grenada, at least not yet. In the words of the students, the forum was a phenomenal success and Anihas deserves all the applause they can get.